and welcome to Talk It Out with Vic and Joe. Today on our show, we are going to be talking about this case. What case? Freddie versus the state of Wyoming. Oh, yeah. They put him on death trial. Yeah. Death row. I think that's completely wrong. Like, I, I feel like we should have something set for him because, like, I feel like they didn't have any evidence on him. You and know, they all they really had was that he was at that house during that week. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, that's not enough to convict someone. No. Like, they should have, like, a trial. Yeah. Maybe he's innocent. I think he's innocent. I mean, look at his face. I know. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. yeah. He should really be given a trial. Yeah. With the I jury, though, because yeah, he we kind of already know what the state thinks. And, well, state, if you're watching this, give him a trial. I think other people should deserve trials too. Like I have, I think they've been misjudged. That's true. Well, you know, I was gonna say we're talking about amendments before I was rudely interrupted, Vic. Sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, I think this should become an amendment. I agree. I think they agree too. Sixth Amendment, guys. Call this number: eight zero four three three five zero zero. Five one. Call now. Sign a petition. You know. You're saving yeah. someone's life. Come on now. Vote for Myron Ruiz, and I will get you new computers. Vote for me. Welcome back to Talk It Out with Vic and Joe. If you're just tuning in, um, we'd like you to call the number and sign a petition stating that everyone should have the right to a jury and a speedy trial. So. Hey Vic, did you see that commercial? I mean, Luis, Myra's VP, he just completely went in there and pushed her off the screen. Like, what the heck? Well, it did good things for him. What do you mean? Like, well, spoiler alert, he got, like, the most votes. Really? Yeah. Why? He was his, he was your VP. She he's not supposed to get more votes. I She's know. the president. They're running together. How does the vice president get more votes than the president? I don't know, but like their names aren't combined on the same ballot. What? Why? That's how it is. What do you mean? Have you not voted before? Um, no. Well then. <laughs> I think we're going to take a caller on this. We're talking about adding amendments on your show tonight, aren't we? I say we add one saying that the presidential candidate and the vice president are together on the ballots. It would make so much sense. And Joe, why haven't you voted before? It's important to vote. Go vote. Okay. Okay. I'll vote in the next election, guys. Obviously, it's important. So... That was a great idea, though, caller. Goodbye. <laughs> We're gonna complain. I think everyone should complain about this. Because it is kind of tricky when voting. That's true. How about... Yeah. You know what? I got an idea. How about you at home call your local representative and complain. Tell them you want this to be added onto the Constitution. Because, you know, it does get confusing coming from a person who votes and then that way the vice president doesn't get more points than the president. I mean, come on. That's so weird. That makes sense. That's how it should be. Hey, Vic. Yep. Pick a number 1 through 20. 12. Okay, guys. This is your 12th amendment right here. Call now. Go. Call. Pick up the phone. Call. Do you have pride in your nation? Do you want to help your country get a better tomorrow? Then join the Army. Apply at your local Army office and make your parents and your country proud. That's right. Not only your parents, you can also make your country proud. Join the Army today. Welcome back. Um, we're actually going to take a more serious turn here. And we're actually going to be talking about um, our soldiers out there. Did you know that we're actually losing this war that's out there? We are? Yeah. Like, there's, like, they want people to join, but they don't have enough money to feed everyone. Or um, give them the proper that, equipment. Taxes. 
Like, yeah. aren't taxes how we fund the wars? Yeah, see, but, like, no one really wants to pay taxes. They think it's just going to go, like, in some money-hungry person's pocket. I think that's like redundant. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, I'm sorry you feel that way. But still, if you, if you think about it, it it's kind of sad because now our troops are, like, dying because yeah. we, the people, I are stubborn and selfish. And I feel that we should have taxes on something. like. Well, we could do it on income. I mean, we make enough money. We're not living on the street. That's true. Income tax, guys. I wouldn't mind. It's the easiest. You know what? Here, I think we can do something to help raise some money for our soldiers out there. I think if you can go onto our website and donate a y one year with a monthly donation of fifteen ninety nine, we can handle it. You know, they don't even know that they <laughs> Um, we will actually send you a really nice shirt. Saying free T-shirt, guys. Yeah, it's free. Come on, everyone loves free. You send us some of your hard-earned money, we give you a T-shirt. And none of it goes stays to us. It goes I know, to the we give it to the troops. I like that idea. Me too. I think I'm gonna do it myself. I want that T-shirt. I'll join you. I'll join you on that. One mo one year, once a month, fifteen ninety nine. Come on. Be nice. Support those young men that go out there and fight. And for women. Them. And yes, and women. And women. Yeah. There's a lot of women now. Yes. That's nice. They're making yeah, everything yeah. unisex now. I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's that time again, guys. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Oh, not from Vote for me for my upcoming eighth term. That Smitty Worm Engine Superman is pretty darn awesome. You know, you need, oh, hold on, you need to calm down. We didn't even say hi to the people. <laughs> hi, America. <laughs> 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 okay, now what you were saying. Continue, please. He's running for his eighth term as president. That's kind of long. I didn't even vote for that guy last time. Why? Because he has a weird name. <laughs> What's wrong with his name? It's weird and long, and I can't pronounce it. It's not that bad. <laughs> Pronounce it. So? I'm not voting for a guy. I can't even say his name. Why do you need to say his name? Because he's representing our country. So? If I can't say his name, then I'm going to be like, no, no, yeah, no, you know the president? I don't know his <laughs> name, but he's our president. Well then, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, I think he's been running office for far too long. I think Why? Okay. He's obviously a great president. Why do you he, think he's I elected think he's, seven times? I think he's becoming a dictator. I How? mean, other other people, okay. No one else has been able to get into office. Because we like him. Nuh-uh. His popularity has been going down. Like, down into the toilet and being <laughs> flushed away. Okay, you have a point there. Exactly. <laughs> It's that I told I told the text about that. Come on. Oh my God. Anyway. You know what? I think we should do I think we should do an amendment to this. We we sh it should be what amended. Amendment. Twenty second. Okay. I like that number. It's like two two. Yeah two two. Yeah. Did you Did you know there was actually a hockey player and his last name was something two two. And and you wanna what his number was? Twenty two. Do you know how awesome that is? I just think it'd be cool. You know, the Constitution should be wearing a tutu. Come on. Right? So amazing. Am I the only one that thinks it's cool? No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yes. It's happening, people. Well, anyways, guys. 22nd Amendment. What would you say this 22nd Amendment should be? Sharing is caring. Well, sharing is caring, yeah, but if you think he's been in office way too long. Okay, okay, I got you. I think that it should be two terms. Cause then so they, eight years. Yes. Because then you get a fresh outlook. Like, but what every about, eight years or so. But what about if, like, the president's going on? He dies during, like... Well, then, then the vice president will come in. 
and finish up that term. But then, but then he, he only gets eight years? No. He, he'd be able to only run up to the amount that he could. So how many years can he hold total? I see ten. I think ten years? Ten, ten years is pretty good. I'd like that number. Sounds good. I like that number. I think it should be ten. I think if you guys agree, you guys should, you know, go onto the website or give us a call. www.vicandjoe.com Come on, guys. It'd be pretty cool. And, like you, and you have to admit, though, it makes sense. It makes sense. So. <laughs> Dude, they need to learn. So, I know. The text. This text. Field trips, guys. Oh, my God. Um, ah. Anyway. Hello, well, America again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're back. <laughs> um, well, I think that's all we have today. Yeah. For well, everyone. See you next time on Talk It Out with Vic and Joe. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>